We're starting early this morning. Oh, Daniel, wait, come back, come back. We're starting early this morning. I actually think this is one of the best jobs ever. You just get to go on a chill, not so hectic tour. You get to drink whiskey, great whiskey. Let's you smell it there. Mm. It's delicious. Hey, check it. Hey, check it. Put the place up. Scotland at the home of the Dewar's Distillery. I'll be spending the next few days here learning more about the process of Scotch whiskey making and of course taste testing that peaty earthy double-aged process that Dewar's has perfected. We are starting the Dewar's Distillery tour and the first thing we're going to learn about is the water supply, where they source their water and how important the quality of the water is. Welcome everybody. Hey. Welcome to Aberfeld. Hey, oh, more of you. There we are. You're heading on for a wee draft. We're going to start off the day with a, with a wee hot toddy, I think. A ah, hot toddy. A smashing idea. That went well, by all means. Fire away and I'll, yes. uh, I'll cut it. We'll, we'll, we'll see you in a bit, Tommy. Smashing. All right. The thing you guys have to remember is that back in the 1800s in Scotland, no one was actually drinking Scotch whiskey, which sounds ludicrous. I just spent four days touring the Doors Distillery with a host of amazing people from all over Asia. With Fraser Campbell as our guide, we kicked off the morning with a hot toddy by the burn and a little history lesson about Tommy Doors, who joined us in the flesh for our first morning whiskey tasting. Just got our second drink of the day. Some other people it might be their third or fourth or fifth. I think we have to uh, yeah. yeah, it's our second second. One go or just a little more? Attention again before you start drinking. It's bad luck to drink a dram in Scotland without doing a cheers for us. Cheers. Wait, wait, just hang on a second. Just hold your I know you're thirsty. It's actually known to be 10 years of bad sex. If you don't cheer some of us, we don't want any of that. So we obviously want to make sure you walk away with um, a few Scottish cheerses. So does anyone know how we say cheers in Scotland when you've got a drama? Land. 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 There we go. Yeah. I never thought Dan and I would be drinking whiskey on the job, for the job. Good whiskey, great whiskey, double A's. Amazing whiskey. whiskey. We talked a lot about the first wrong begin, which is of course water. 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 What kind of water? Patelli water. Patelli. Your three key ingredients you need to make are of course water, sugar, and yeast. We need to do this very special process which we call malting. So we need malted barley, not just regular barley. We are in the masher room. Once the grist is ready and fine and powdery, they mix it with three different loads of hot water to extract the sugars from it. The unique double-aged blending is what makes Dewar's Scotch so special. Dewar's double-aged is due to the six months of marrying and oak casks that the whiskey does after initial maturation. The bun would be to use one of these, works a bit like a corkscrew. Now this is of course used to extract the bun. So any idea of what it's called? Any idea? A bung extractor! Yes, yes, the marketing team were off that day. <laughs> well, so, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. I of course, oh, you can't on. take a mini history lesson on doors without a tasting to pair. Great. Who would like to have a wee shot at bung flogging? Up you come, right? After touring the distillery, we were led into the secret bar to learn how the adventurous Tommy Doors invented the whiskey highball. We have just finished the distillery okay, tour, and to end it, so no, we so made our way into do, right? a little so secret bar. Fraser, who has been leading us on this tour, is so giving us a master class, cup. teaching us and how to make the whiskey highball so drink. Nice sort of play, Look at that beautiful lake. 
We're about to go crazy. Not really, no. This is going to be super calm, awesome, and fun. Yeah, actually, this is like the most relaxing thing, canoeing. I can see the future, Daniel. I think you're going to be doing all the paddling and the canoeing. You can just hand me your camera. You can see the future. <laughs> actually, yeah, I, wanted, I wouldn't mind doing that. Here they go. Hello, Scotland. Yeah, we are on an adventure to find the Loch Ness Monster. Her name is Nessie. And, uh, oh my God, it's in the background. We're not on the Loch Ness. We're on the Loch Tay right now, which is also one of the largest lochs in Scotland. Loch means lake in Gaelic. So we're actually... Gotta switch places for the shot. Holy. We got Mr. Uh, kayaker helper here. What's your name? Fred. Fred. Mr. Fred. Fred. Okay. Thank you so much, Fred. Thanks for for, being for stabilizing helpful. us at this time. I don't think that's possible to stabilize you. Too. Yeah, we are we are a bit unstable <laughs> people. Thank you very much. Okay, so the trick is to look like I'm doing work. <laughs> I actually am doing more of the work. Yeah, you're in the lead. You're the you <laughs> yeah. the okay, uh, all right. Daniel, ready? Here, yeah, here are the photos. We are back at the secret bar where Yuma back there is setting up because he oh, is, made it be nice. he is going to be uh, teaching us a little demonstrations, some bartending perfection, something that we need to uh, integrate a little bit more into our lives, you know, besides the drinking part. What's happening, Haley? All right, Jay is going to show me how to make a, a drink of my choice. With a little help from my friend Jade, I took a crack at adding my own personal touch to this simple but timeless recipe. Is it filming? Yes, yeah, filming. All right. So we are back at the secret bar here at the Dewar's Distillery and my new friend Jade, she's from Lebanon. She's a bartender, cocktail mixer, mixologist, whatever you want to call it. She is going to show me how to make a drink of my choice with whiskey that uh, would be kind of like my unique style. We have finished our day at the Dewar's Distillery Tour. It was such an, oh no. Wait, oh my gosh, where's my bottle? Okay, I had to go back and get my bottle, my souvenir bottle, I realized I didn't have it. So we are now leaving the Dewar's Distillery. We came out with some very rare whiskey for, uh, for our own souvenir to take. Between the three, I decided to choose one called uh, Kragalaki, 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 that's what it is. Kragalaki. This has kind of a smoky taste to it. It's not very sweet. So I'll be saving this for a special occasion at some point. Life is certainly not easy, but it's the only thing worth living. Tommy Dewar.